Yeah. Well, there are degrees. You see, uh, um, the yoga, it's one of these practices which is actually based also on a spirituality which is Asiatic and Oriental, and it, it presupposes another philosophical framework. It, 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 see, what yoga is trying to do is open you completely and empty you completely and make you completely relaxed and then and you can be moved upon and then there are certain physical benefits they say but the only thing is that you're imitating uh, the posture of a, of a Hindu god and um, you are it's in, our Christian thing is not emptiness but fullness there is also in yoga this concentration of the mind on the power at the base of the spine, the serpent power, the, the kundalini, or this kind of, it's, it's just, there's an element there, where is this serpent coming from? Well, it would seem that when you're involved, you're trying to get involved with a serpent, that sounds a bit too familiar, a serpent. So, again, it, it's stuff which is, if it were to remain just an exercise or a, a gymnastic, it would be one thing, but unfortunately it's part of a bigger program, that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, the same with Ouija boards. Again, it's, a, it's fun and games apparently, but actually not because once you're handling anything which is fascinating but for the wrong reason, things do things. It's an open door. So yeah, demons, basically, energy, demon spirits. But what are they? It's an open door to we're not quite sure about. So all that we don't need. <laughs> yeah, it's all. Well, some of some of the some of the charlatans, yeah, there's some of them are charlatans and they're just a money making thing. But others, well, in any case, it's, it, one shouldn't go to them because it's all uh, saying yes to the other side. But any knowledge they have is, is is from, for instance, the demonic because the demonic has knowledge. It can foresee things from. It can see more than we can. Therefore, can calculate the future from what it knows about more than what we know about what different things are going on on Earth right now. But it, it's heavy guesswork. But uh, anyway, thing is, if they give you fortunes and that kind of thing and it turns out to be true and it's because they've got to get the wrong source but with regard to magic now just be aware there's a difference between a conjurer and a magician a conjurer is a very good man at performing tricks which he's learned very well uh, that's perfectly innocent uh, even St John Bosco learned that for his children but um, magic as the word suggests is a magus a magus is somebody who uh, has basically got hold of powers from the other side. That's, of course, again, how the likes of... Yeah, go on. Well, yeah, miracles, yeah. Yeah, but he could counterfeit all this. Only could counterfeit all this, but he does. Again, it's the what I said in the beginning with regard to... He delivers the goods straight away, but on <laughs> if you give him your soul. So that's the, you're opening your soul, you're giving your soul. People who are real magicians have given their soul in return for these magical powers. Because if you look at, um, for instance, real magicians on YouTube, the real ones now, they're doing things which are not just tricks. They're doing things what one can't do without supernatural or preternatural power. That's, that's real, that is magic. And magic is a real thing. But it's, it's stuff from the other side. Therefore, if they die in that state, they'll go and meet the one they've given their soul to. So you see, the penalty is, is eternal. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Just try, yeah, I mean, just, it's difficult to discourage fun and games because children are children, but just be aware, it's it's not neutral because it's, there's a, an agenda here being pushed and just, I mean, you can't tell too much to children, but you've got to be careful because the same, the, the, the ugly, the macabre, it's not the nice company for children. They're better off with angels and little other people who are innocent. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose after a certain, yeah, 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 that's interesting if that's the case, yeah. If, if you get the, I mean, little children, they certainly respond to angels, if you talk about guardian angels, they love that, yeah, little, yeah, yeah, I suppose they could grow up too quickly and not think, yeah, that's probably true what you're saying, but you see, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, if if you pursue that conversation, you could actually uh, indicate. See, now we've got quite a few miraculous escapes uh, because of the amount of closed circuit cameras around, and therefore a proportion. You can hear me. Is that? Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the proportion of clips that we have, for instance, visible on YouTube, is is quite extraordinary because the cameras are everywhere now, and they have seen. Uh, accidentally caught what the camera sees and uh, amongst miraculous, what can say miraculous escapes and accidents, that kind of thing or whatever it might be, you can see a certain presence stepping in and doing things. And there are quite a few out there and they're definitely, it's, it's angelic. But I mean, you would have had the, yourself, if you've been in any car accident or whatever, you feel, wow, something can't be safe there. And uh, it's that, the angelic, that they are our guardians and it works. So I mean, a child, if you, especially if you show them on YouTube, there are quite a few very, uh, Staggering ones, actually. Well, the angels—they're genuinely real, and um, so, and therefore, it's not that different. Talk about bad angels to tell them what these angels are. Devils are bad angels. In other words, they, 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 a third fell when the original rebellion took place. There, uh, Satan, Lucifer, wanted to have his own kingdom. I will not serve you. He rebelled. The, this pride thing, pride, and uh, so there was. There were twenty. He's trying to get all the angels, a massive number, to come with him. You see, but Saint Michael was given power, and then only a third fell. But they're around. That third is a huge number. They're the present demons. Yeah. No, what a bad angel is likely to do is to push you to jump over the bridge. See, people now, young people have, yeah, no, you see, I had a case in this house some time ago. He was a person who was in prison, in a high security prison, and he was warned by an, an IRA inmate there. There's a whole lot of suicides in this place. If that comes to you, don't go through with it because. Uh, 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 so, anyway, he's warning him, you see. And he said, Why not? Well, it's not pleasing to the man above, he said. So, uh, I mean, he said enough faith and cop on to tell him that. Well, anyway, there was a whole series of hangings there and suicides in the prison. Everyone was depressed. And then this presence came to my friend uh, when he was in there, and uh, uh, a wonderful, blissful feeling we can short your sentence come this way take the rope and then he copped on are you the presence that managed to persuade all these before me to commit suicide in this place yes so then he copped on so he oh give me an hour and i'll think about it so for the first time in his life he got on his knees and prayed hard about it and he was given a massive grace to make a u-turn completely so anyway he copped on you see this is a real bad presence when it's the fallen angels because suicide is pushed 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 by you know who Oh, oh, yeah, well, they come to proportionally and get, see, it's being that, to actually put it, one is free to listen to people, that's one's function, really, uh, praying and listening, praying, listening, so one gets, and they come to you because you've got time. Oh, yeah, and it, it, there's nothing new under the sun. I mean, just remember, basically, we're part of a huge family, part of which is angelic, and part of which is fallen. So, same with human souls. And if if you're involved with stuff like the dark side coming through in exorcism and possession, that kind of thing, well, it all comes up there, and you've got possession, you've got people who have been cursed and that kind of thing, and you, you've got people who are actually possessed, not only by demons, but also by human demons. That's happened as well. Uh, and it's frightening, but you see... Uh, anyway, it's 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 well documented. I mean, the likes of Hitler have come up in demon possession, that kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's an awful mess. But the point is, there's such hatred down there that they really want our harm, and therefore that's the presence that we're feasting in Halloween. We're feasting those who haven't made it and hate us and want us with them. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, there are two things there. They're talking about there are two elements in the beyond 
um, with regard to presences and whatnot. One is the bad angels, the good is, that's great, but the bad angels, demons, but the other is souls. Now, souls are around, you see, we're getting into a different domain there, we're getting into, yeah, but no, 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 but it's, it's linked, because that's also being feasted at Halloween, the whole realm of ghosts and spookiness. See, these are, yeah, and normally a person after death goes either to eternal loss or to the waiting room. Now, you see, the problem with the waiting room is this, we know that in his mercy, the Lord does allow some souls to do part of their purgatory in the place, or part of it, as I say, in the place where they've offended. Therefore, there are people, there are souls, for instance, sometimes in church, we can't see them, uh, there are souls sometimes in church, making up for what they should have been doing properly in church. That kind of thing has come to the surface sometimes. And uh, and sometimes they make themselves known or felt or seen. And they, 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 then they appear in what we, what we call ghosts. That that does exist. And, and sometimes the Lord is allowing that because they're in trouble, they want help. And he's allowing that to be known so we get more sense for them and pray for their soul. You see, but if that's the case, they're not lost. But there are some cases of malignant spirits and uh, human spirits there we have i know a case near here where the person was killed in a road accident without preparation he died suddenly and ever since his house is badly infested badly haunted and um uh, so and, and it's a malignant haunting because it tears up things and it's you can't live there uh, so that kind of thing that it otherwise usually goes to a bit benign but those there, one is asking, what kind of a spirit is this? Is it stuck forever? I mean, we don't know. It's a borderline case. But they're not nice presences, those.